Hey guys, thank you for checking back on the performance video of the Hoover Spotless Carpet Cleaner. One thing I did forget to mention last video is that I got the machine from Bed Bath & Beyond and they were asking $119.99 for it, but with the 20% off coupon, I was able to get it for $95.99. So here we go. For the tanks, I did wash them before um, I started the video, so that's why you can see the little water um, bubbles there. To remove the tanks, it's super easy. All you have to do is push um, the little buttons here that are on the top of the machine, and the tanks do come off pretty easy. And they go on pretty easy as well. Let me show you the back. I love how it's organized. You're able to wrap the cord in the back here. It has this little swivel clip. You can swivel it down, get the cord off, and when you swivel back up, it's easy to get it back on and it clips to itself. And this is the wand. Super easy to come off. It's just like a microphone. Um, this is the little spray nozzle. And to get the attachment on there, it's really easy too. You just put the attachment right on the flat surface with the nozzle out, and then it clicks. And then to take it out, you just clip this, um, push the little button there, and it comes off. Just like that. So let's put this back, and let's fill this bad boy up. So on the solution tank, there are two lines or two measurements um, that you'll be using either large mess, which is 0.4 gallon of water, or small mess and self-clean line, and that's 0.1 gallon of water. So we're going to be using this uh, small mess uh, line because I don't have too many stains on the carpet that we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to use that. And for that, the solution calls for one cap full of the cap that comes on the tank and that's the measurement of half an ounce okay so let's go ahead and fill that I am going to use the Hoover solution that came with the machine so let's go ahead and do that so I'm just going to fill that to the top there I'm going to keep it to the side because we're going to add that after we add the water I am going to use a little bit of hot water, nothing crazy, because I do want the stains. So I just went over a little bit on the line there, but that's fine. So we're going to pour that on there and close it nice and tight. Okay, let me give it a little shake. So I'm going to be working on two different areas today. But for this particular stain, because I don't know what caused it and it's pretty dark, um, I'm going to be using the spot treatment that came with the machine as well. So I'm just going to put that on now um, and let it work in the stain while we use do the other uh, stain. So I'm just going to give it a little shake. So it's in a gel form. And then I'm just going to use a little towel to kind of spread it on there. And there's one other spot here too. Okay, so we're going to let that sit there for a little bit while we work on the other area. Okay, so I have the machine all plugged in. And we're going to be working on this stain here. This is actually Windex. Um, that I spilled on the carpet. So let's see how this machine does. <laughs> I'm not too happy about how it did with the Windex. The spots are still there. So I'm going to try to use the spot treatment on these three little spots and see how well that works uh, while we work on the other ones. So these are the spots that I did the treatment on. So let's see how that works. <laughs> happy about how the spot treatment worked um, you can't even see where those um, little three stains were maybe there was one here but I can't even see it anymore so that worked out really good so let's check back on the Windex uh, spots that I have over there in the corner 
All right, so this is the Windex spots um, that I put the gel on. So let's see how well it works. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not too happy with the Windex stain. I'm going to have to Google and see um, if there's a special uh, treatment that I have to do, but the Hoover wasn't able to take it out with the um, detergent that it came with. So overall, I am happy um, with the machine because it did take out the stains I thought it wasn't going to take out. I am just going to have to figure out what to do with the Windex stain on the carpet. So now I'm going to show you how to use the self-cleaning technology. Um, it's pretty simple. You take out the attachment from the wand. You take um, the solution tank out, wash it out, fill it with clean water, which I already did. And then the nozzle piece here, this part, it's going to fit right down here. So you want to make sure that you want to put it in the right way. So it goes in like that. I'm going to have the hose on there so you can see it better. Okay. And then after you push it in, you just turn on the machine. And then it sections the water from the clean tank into the dirty tank. To clean the recovery tank, there's a quick spout that you can take. And then you can remove the whole bottom piece. Oh, that's really disgusting. Um, from the bottom portion. And then everything comes out and then you can wash the whole thing. So I can show you that real quick. Empty out the water this way. Push that back. Make sure you can see. The whole thing comes off and then you're free to wash everything and make sure everything is nice and clean. So there you have it. That's the product review for the Hoover um, FH11400 um, Spotless Cleaner. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.